What do you think? Is this the one area in Washington where you actually will see some bipartisan support? Uh, well, so far, everything I've read uh, that the new uh, majority in the House of Representatives wants to do and what my colleagues on the Senate Finance Committee want to do uh, from both Republicans and Democrats, it looks like uh, we put together, uh, uh, well, first of all, we have a very good opportunity of having bipartisan results and bipartisan legislation come out of this. And this hearing was put together in a very bipartisan way. The companies that uh, we're having on the panel today were agreed to by both the Republican and Democrat uh, members of the committee. And they generally uh, include companies that have had uh, drug pricing issues uh, from our respective constituents. We, we, we can look through the drug price individual situations where drug prices have risen 200, 300, 400, 500 percent, sometimes even higher than that. But what do you think the problem is before you get these CEOs in front of you today? Where, where would you point the finger of blame? Well, I, uh, I'll answer your question this way if it does answer your question, if it doesn't tell me. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that there's not enough information available about how prices are arrived at. There seems to be a great deal of secrecy, and for me, on a lot of legislative issues, particularly my oversight work, transparency brings accountability, so we need to get some transparency into it. When there's more transparency, the marketplace ought to work better. And then in the end, uh, we have to have some explanations of why, for instance, prices are set way up here, but then there's rebates that bring the prices down here, what happens in between, mm -hmm. and, uh, and how come uh, consumers shouldn't be paying the, the, the same price and the lower price instead of what's going on in between. So it, it, I'd, I'd say it's fair to assume that you think this, the situation of rebating either to the health insurance company or to the pharmacy benefits manager, the middleman in between, is a bad idea. Would you be in favor of, of banning that practice? And say the list uh, price is the list price? I'm not sure I can answer your question now, but we've got to have some explanations of why. And it doesn't seem reasonable to me that we have this uh, differential. And by the way, uh, we're not going to stop this investigation just with pharmaceutical companies. Uh, we're going to have PBMs and other uh, 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 other uh, players in the industry. Companies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, people that are making these deals and bringing about the rebates, and what's their role? Uh, don't seem to know as much about that as we ought to. And then what extent is the free market not working? Uh, what extent is there collusion, as an example? The administration has put forth a plan that would tie uh, Medicare drug pricing to uh, drug prices in foreign countries where those prices tend to be cheaper. Uh, the industry has come out against that for the most part. Where, where do you come down on that? Well, I, I think that I don't want uh, governments overseas setting our prices here in the United States. I want them to be negotiated in the free market. I want a willing buyer, willing seller to make that decision. But uh, I Meaning still... you'd like more competition? You'd like more yeah. the Medicare's yeah. ability to go ahead and, yeah. and negotiate that? Uh, I don't want the government negotiating, if that's what your question is. Well, because, the government uh, basically is the, the biggest payer for these things. They tend to well, set the rate. If they're not negotiating, there's other people yeah. who have said that, that you'll well, never actually get to lower uh, prices. Well, when you brought up government negotiation, I thought you were bringing up to have uh, Part D of Medicare mm. be, be handled just right. exactly like VA. I'm not in favor of that. Right. Uh, but uh, I am in favor of more competition and the extent to which we uh, can have importation of drugs. I've supported that for a long period of time and will continue to vote for it. But also understand we have uh, pay for delay schemes uh, that Senator Klobuchar and I are introducing legislation to do away with those. Which, which is uh, what? Uh, pay well, for pay delay? Pay for delay is when a, a patent runs out, the brand oh. company goes to a generic right. and pays them to keep the generic off the market. So right. obviously you don't get the cheaper drug on the market as fast. And yeah. then another one would be when they don't uh, cooperate with a, with a generic company to get the information that the brand uh, company has uh, so they can get something approved by the FDA a lot faster. Then uh, the idea is to get generics on the market uh, mm -hmm. faster so you have more competition because generics are cheaper.